In terms of van layout, let me go and sit, uh, stand at the front here. <clears throat> right, so, we are right at the front of the van now, looking back into the van. So right at the back doors, coming up to, say, uh, you see this, this support beam here, it's just past the wheel arch, maybe even halfway across the wheel arch. We're going to panel that out there. Um, we're in across. The whole back end, with the exception of a little alcove here, running to the back door, is going to be the garage. The back garage is going to be a, a bit of a square coming, follow my finger, out here to about here and then running across to here. And that's going to be the, a wet room garage where it can be completely wet. We're going to try and get some underfloor storage, un actually underneath the van. So cut a hole on the floor and uh, we're going to have our batteries in there and maybe a, I don't know, um, a liquid tank of some kind, whether it's for water or fuel for the uh, for the the heater, I don't know. But we're not sure. Yes, so here we're going to have two bunk beds. And they're going to go longitudinal to the to the van, so they're going to stick out about where my hand is from the wall, um, and it's going to go up to probably the height of the roof. Maybe not so high. It's going to be under full storage, and given how much height we've got in the bunk beds themselves, there's going to be uh, uh, overhead storage as well, maybe. So that wall there is going to be the uh, garage wall and the bunk bed wall, insulated and you know, whatever. So there's going to be obviously a back panel down there, which is where your feet or your head will go, depending on which way you want to lie. It's up to you, you know, it's up to us. And the beds are only going to be five foot long. Now, you're going to say that, oh dear, that's bad because my brother's six foot long, he's, he's, a, he's a tall lad. So yeah, the beds are, are probably only going to come to about here, say, which isn't long enough. But what we're going to do is we're going to have a bit of a brainstorming idea here. And we're going to have um, like a lift up section that lifts up. Uh, and obviously it locks into place either with a thing that you pull out underneath and the, the, the board will sit on that. Or some other way, chains that drop down maybe. I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out when the time comes, it's not important for now. Uh, that will give us a way to have a seating area here. We've done away with the idea of a shower sadly, we really wanted one in here but it doesn't matter, you know, we can live without a shower. Um, and if uh, it comes really bad, maybe in the garage because it's going to be a wet room anyway, we might be able to rig something up in there. I'm pretty sure we'll figure something out. Um, and obviously we're going to have a seating area that goes all the way to behind the driver's seat, which is going to be quite nice. Um, well, maybe, maybe not. We're not actually entirely sure how we're going to do this yet. See, we don't know, as of yet, my brother's got the idea of putting the kitchen here, along here. So we're going to have, let's say, the burner here behind the passenger seat, you know, you know where the passenger door is, so to speak. Um, the two passenger seats. The burner there so we can probably have the door open and let all the stuff vent out there. Maybe a bit of a canopy which funnels the the smoke and whatnot or whatever smoke because my cooking skills are so bad. Um, from the uh, two ring or three ring or whatever ring burner we're going to have or grill whatever it is. Um, so yeah, so just there. Um, <clears throat> Then, over here, we thought about having the wash basin behind the driver's seat. And we still want access to the middle, so we thought of doing like, you know, um, like a uh, like a bar hatch. Like what you'd have, you know, you go to like a pub or something or a bar, and they've got the full counter worked up, and they have a little thing they open up, and you can walk through. I'm thinking of doing that, because obviously when it's closed down, it's a full, complete work surface. And we'll have preparation in the middle where the bar hatches, we'll be able to cook food and we've also got the ability to wash plates and things over here, nice and easy. Good thing is as well, we've already got a hole drilled down here from when this was a fridge van, 
so that we could drain water through, you know, into a tank or into a you know, waste water vessel. As for this side of the van, we're not actually sure what we're going to do. Probably more seating area and storage. Um, we've got a plan of not having the door so it opens all the way. We're going to, probably going to bring something out to about here and then just make it so that there's a small gap to get through. Um, it is a waste of space at the end of the day. Uh, and on this back wall here, going into the garage, we are going to have a bit of a door that we can just get access to inside. And uh, it might be a place for, say, the diesel heater to live somewhere in there, maybe, or maybe under the seat in the front somewhere. Uh, somewhere accessible, because they do need maintenance every now and then, so... I mean, if we wanted to, we could build it into a box under the van and have it under, under the floor, so it's completely external to the van. It's, uh, I don't know if you know, but <clears throat> these IV Iveco dailies, I tell you, if you wanted to uh, ever have a van where you could store things underneath the van, in between, say, the chassis rails, because with this being a dedicated chassis, there is so much space underneath this van. I kid you not. Um, if you had the long wheelbase of this van, <clears throat> you could, well, for starters, I can literally sit on the floor cross-legged and work quite comfortably on, on items under the van without jacking it up. There's that much space underneath this thing. So I was thinking of building a few boxes underneath and having it accessible from the top. <clears throat> it's, uh, there's a lot of uh, room for storage under here. The differential and the axle is about here. Um, between the wheel arches, obviously. Just about here there's a support bar. But all the space at the back is free space. Completely free space. Uh, with the exception of the two chassis rails that run side by side, but uh, if you re you know if we really wanted to, we could run a uh, say a, an ammo crate here somewhere in the floor. Loads of space there. Uh, same for the other side. With loads of space in the middle as well here. Um, we are going to put a nice big tow bar on this thing because we wouldn't mind having a cycle carrier rack on the back. I may actually modify uh, the design so that um, the rack can sort of swing open from the back door hinge, maybe. Maybe, we'll see. Have welder, we'll, we'll, we'll modify, you know. Uh, let's say anything's possible with a welder and a big enough hammer and a grinder, you know. So, we'll try that.